You are listening to Trusting God at All Times, a daily devotion of Peakland United Methodist Church. My name is Kim Ness, and I'm the office manager here at Peakland. I was on the train late Sunday evening heading home to Lynchburg following a weekend with my parents, watching the scenery go by. The train was full when I got on, and finding a seat was not an easy task. Fortunately, I did find a seat and could relax on the two-and-a-half-hour ride home. The train ride gave me time to think, time to be present. Not to be present for me or for those around me, but to be present for God. I knew he had something to tell me, but I couldn't hear it. Not because I didn't want to, but because I didn't know he was speaking to me. I watched the scenery outside the train window change. As I left Manassas, the hustle and bustle of the cars and activity that was always in the foreground were left behind for the green fields of Culpeper. Those green fields gave way to the rolling hills of Charlottesville and then the more hilly land of Lynchburg. And God was there. During this train ride, I saw my spiritual life. The trip from Manassas to Culpeper illustrated the beginning of my journey with Christ. Everything was coming at me, and the only thing I knew to do was to get on the train and hold on. Hold on to God. The trip from Culpeper to Charlottesville and the ever-changing landscape of hills and fields was the time I spent trying to find the path I wanted to take. And those hills, as a way of trying to find myself and find what God wanted me to do. That train ride illustrated more about my life with Christ than I could explain. I was present. I was there for God. I didn't ask him for anything. Just let him know I was ready for what he wanted me to do. And that stretch from Charlottesville to Lynchburg? That's my current path to fulfill my ministry and be the hands, heart, and eyes that God wants me to be, even though I don't feel ready or capable. Those hills have their ups and downs, just like my ministry journey. I was able to be present enough to hear him say, I'll get you to where I want you to be. You just have to get on board. I still don't know where that will lead me, but God's the engineer and I've got my ticket on that train. Join me in prayer. God, you are the ultimate planner. You are the one that can guide us. Help us to hear you and be present for you so we may be your hands here on earth and glorify your name. Amen.